think everything is good and everything. Uh, my mic is working. Okay. All right. <laughs> this is the video that we're going to be reacting today. It's in my recommendation, everything in the beginning, as you see. Uh, but some of you, don't worry. I'm going to react to your video that you want me to do. I just need to make sure everything's right and everything. And one of you, which I don't know if I'm going to be able to find you. You were the one with the Steve um icon thingy who are you uh right here mr steve i finally found I, I actually found you okay so uh pass -huh. it on youtube mm -hmm. I. <laughs> oh so mr steve you said um oh, trevor henderson giants reaction i'm waiting the video sad face don't worry i got you <laughs> but do about to you like please you tell me who it's made from get this multiple of those all right but enough of that, let's go back to my thing. <clears throat> Best it on YouTube. Mm -hmm. Alright. <laughs> let's go. Uh, so reacting to SCP-715, my face that I may be. That's my animation. But you already know, Dr. Bob. He's almost his 1 million. He's actually at 922k. He he was around his 800k when we started reacting to him and everything. So good up to him. Uh, would you put in the description? Go check him out. I'll be way happy if you give him one more subscriber. Like, I don't know. That's the best thing I could do. <laughs> Let's get it started. Uh, escape. Zoom in. Okay, there we go. All right, let's see. It's Saturday night. A right. teenaged boy and girl are out on a date. They're that was last to shopping mall. Hopefully, to see a movie let me see. At the theater attached to the mall. As they walk through. I want it to be too loud for you guys. Hopefully it's not the mall low. waiting for their show to start. The girl spots something. Okay. It's a photo booth. Also, this one is older she video. Grabs you could the tell. Boy's hand and pulls him inside. They close uh, the curtain, insert a coin, and the machine comes to life, snapping a series of photos. The two exit the booth. The last one kind of sucks. No, I mean like, yo, what, what? So is this gonna be the SAP? But both seem to be a little off. Okay. It's getting close to showtime though. So they start making their way to the movie theater. Meanwhile, they collapse. unbeknownst to the mall patrons, something is happening deep below the ground. Is that the them? boy and girl exit the theater and walk arm in arm through the alley back toward the was, parking was lot. Was that them? Left his car. I mean, it's late now. The sun has long since set. Was that them? And they're all alone. But they don't hear the footsteps behind them or sense the pair of bodies that are following That's them. them. Getting closer and closer they get to the car it's the only one left in the parking lot It'll be too the late. boy takes out his keys to unlock the car was everyone dropping their keys bro like every single movie videos or like just anything that has to do with keys like going to the house uh the car and everything like they always drop the keys the boy like stop spinning away your fingers <laughs> yo when it fumbles but, uh, and drops them to the ground Come on, man. As he bends over to pick them up, he finally sees who has been following them. It's the face. Them. Yeah. A pair of doppelgangers coming straight towards them. They look exactly oh, hell like the nah. girl. You know what this mommy of um I don't know if you guys don't see this uh Mabel count. I don't know like that the Damn, I can't like I forgot what it's called. <laughs> I forgot what it's called. Oh what is that legit? I forgot. All right, let's keep it going. But this might be one of the movie where this insects, you know, by the human and they create a no version of them. And it also reminds me of, I forgot what they call. It's, it's like tapes and everything on YouTube. Uh, I can't, I can't remember. I can't, I can't. Except for their faces. Alternative? I think this is called those monster alternative. The video I'm talking about. If you know what I'm talking about, you, you tell me in the comment section. I know Markiplier did thing, Koyet's Cash, you know, one but for YouTube did thing too. I'm telling are you. Horribly distorted, with strange lumps and no eyes or mouths. Yeah, they no. Look as though they were a drawing of a face that was somehow smudged out. Are they trying to kill them? The boy quickly gets the keys and grabs the girl, dragging her away right, from the creatures. There you go. Who are now reaching for the boy and girl, grasping and clawing at their faces as they try to moan through their skin-covered mouths. Okay. Mouth. He gets the car unlocked and both manage to get inside. As the creatures bang on the windows, the boys. But what happened? Feeling. I like it. They just they like they look like, yo, this is not real. <laughs> like, yo, yo, why, this might be. Why does mommy a look more like this? You know, but still, what? And drives away, leaving the abominations. But like, behind. 
That will haunt me forever. I'm Dr. Bob, and this is SCP-715. Are they dangerous? Also known as I, I my guess they have to. May be. SCP-715 is a take-your-own-photo brand photo booth, a product of the Sony Corporation okay. made in the 1970s. This is a standard-looking photo booth, bearing a close resemblance to the many thousands of others that were in operation around the world at the time, with no anomalous visual characteristics at all. The only detail setting this machine apart from its countless brethren is a small metal tag which has been added to the back of the machine it at some point. That, what it says, though. But a significant amount of wear has made it impossible to read what, if anything, was ever stamped on the tag. SCP-715's Maybe... basic operation go. is also not anomalous in appearance. It will only activate if an individual sits inside and inserts the required coinage. At which point, hey, how many people souls be in there? It will take a series of photos, just like a normal photo booth. The photos will also appear normal, though often some will be heavily distorted and obscure the, the subject's face in Hell various no. ways. What truly sets this photo booth apart, however, is what happens outside of the booth when the pictures are taken. While the individuals who had their photos taken, classified as SCP 715 okay. instances, are able to exit the booth with no obvious effects. Below them all, deep underground, something truly terrifying takes place. Underneath them all is Site 81715, an extra dimensional space which is accessible through a mall maintenance service door located Yo, in the basement watching? 3. A door that does not appear on any of the mall's structural And no one knew that was underneath the mall? The site consists of a giant cavernous room, which appears to have been hewn right out of the surrounding limestone. In the middle of the room, is its most distinguishing feature, a large, deep pit. The walls of the pit are made of an unidentified substance, though it appears similar in both appearance and composition to human fat tissue. Okay. These fleshy walls secrete a power- Disgusting, but powerful, continue. Substance, which makes examination and exploration of the pit- Damn, yo, they're doing that to metal, hell no, yo, I'm not going there. <laughs> Yo, damn, man, like, what? Is that acidic? Oh, hell no. I'm pretty sure that was metal. Be dangerous. When SCP I'm sorry. I'm sorry if I'm not reacting too much. I'm I'm getting, I'm trying to, like, get myself into the video, like, what I do was there, and, like, I'm trying to, like, get all the facts in my head. <laughs> Five is activated in the mall above. A humanoid creature classified as SCP-715-A will appear in this pit. The bodies of these creatures are similar in appearance to the individuals who had their picture taken yeah, inside the of face. 715, but their faces are radically different. Oh, no. Each has severe facial disfigurements and abnormalities, such as large growths, deep lacerations, and the absence oh, of no. facial features. After appearing in the pit, these SCP-715-A instances will attempt to scale the fleshy walls of the pit and leave Site-81-715. These instances are considered hostile, and Foundation security oh, okay. personnel are authorized to neutralize Damn, the creatures on by site? any necessary. Okay. Oh, I need to. Uh, you guys already know. I don't care what kind of ad it is. If I don't get paid at least a single penny, I'm not gonna show that ad with volume. We're gonna skip it. But remember, guys, if you ever get one mad, watch the whole thing. Thank you for the support. Uh, but I was gonna say. Um, then I forgot what I was gonna say. Like, do they go for everyone, or do, are they trying to go to like? The original, like the people who took the picture and everything. Like I'm, I don't know. I'm trying like they said very hostile, so I'm guessing they will go for anyone. Further research into how the SCP-715-A entities are formed and what exactly the pit is are ongoing, and it's not currently okay. known how many 715-A instances exist down in the pit. With the entities who were able to climb out of the pit able to be relatively easily neutralized by security forces. SCP-715 was originally classified as safe. That's, I guess it's something happened. It was contained at its point of origin within the mall in Ohio, and Foundation personnel posing as mall employees would collect the photos printed by the machine. However, following additional discoveries, this classification necessitated changing. Well, what happened? The Foundation began noticing inconsistencies with SCP-715-B entities after a researcher tested SCP-715 himself by sitting inside and having his photo taken. Soon after, he began acting in ways that were considered okay. strange, such as when he turned down a promotion to a prominent position with better pay and perks for seemingly no reason. 
and when he skipped a mandatory site inspection for reality bending anomalies. Okay. After noticing these strange behaviors, a foundation research head had an anomalous optical enhancement device placed in the oddly acting researcher's bedroom and learned a surprising truth about the SCP 715 A people? and B entities. The foundation what does it do? had been killing the wrong ones. The device. Oh, no, don't tell me. What is the wrong one? Wait, hold that twist. Hold up. Don't tell me. The one that is going out the cave like from underneath is actually the real ones. And the people who take the picture turns to the fake one. That's why on the last picture, when the food booth is so faceless, that's how they are. Wait, wait, don't, yo, this was. Which could remove anomalous reality distorting effects from images, showed that the researcher was actually. Oh, they were, they, yo. Oh no, that's what, oh wow. So the whole time they're killing the, okay, wow. Only one of the creatures that's from was, the pit, with the telltale facial was. distortions. Following this shocking revelation, the research head used the same device on the creatures still inside the pit underneath the mall. They found the role, that yeah. the anomalous visual wow. effects were removed from the distorted creatures they were who killing, were trying to get they out were of the flesh the pit, original. that they were actually normal-looking humans. These SCP-715-A entities were the human beings who had entered the photo booth, had their pictures wow. taken, and were somehow transported wow. to the pit. That's what the last picture on the photo booth, every, like the last slide, it showed them faceless. Okay. They had been trying to escape their prison and tell the foundation who they really were, but this only resulted wow. in them being terminated by the on-site security forces. In order to fix this mistake, SCP-715 was hastily reclassified as Keter. Why Keter? Don't you guys have it like suited though? I guess I'm wrong. <laughs> SCP-715 okay. was removed from the mall. Yeah, in order to that's be what I was thinking. In a secure locker at Site 19. Research personnel like were no multiple? longer able to that's access Ketcher? SCP-715 without special authorization, and study of the interior was limited to what could be done via remote drone use only. The foundation began rounding up all known instances of SCP-715-B, okay. who are now the ones subjected to immediate termination. Foundation staff did manage to interview one 715B instance, though, okay. who had been previously believed to be a fellow Foundation researcher. It is unknown exactly what the researcher doppelganger said in that interview, but it must have been extremely serious, as the end result was another complete change in protocol. Well, what happened? All attempts to contain and neutralize instances of SCP-715B would immediately cease, uh, what, since what if there happened? were as many out in the world as the doppelganger there we go. Planned, okay. wait, wait. then ultimately, it would better maintain normalcy and ensure the secrecy of SCP-715 okay. if they were allowed to go free. Sadly, the same was not the case for the SCP-715-A instances that still existed yeah. down in the pit. They just killed the them? researcher Doppelganger advised that it would be unwise to remove them from the pit, and the current Foundation policy is that down in the pit is where they wow. will remain. Following this interview, SCP-715 was reclassified once again Save, as safe. Okay. The photo booth was also moved again, this time to a maximum security storage wow. locker at Site 81. And Foundation personnel have been prohibited from interacting with SCP-715-B instances at all. However, there is one more piece of information okay. about SCP-715, and it is only accessible to those with proper security clearance. Another Foundation agent was found to actually be an instance of SCP-715-B, and taken into custody for observation. Okay. While under surveillance, it was discovered that this instance, classified as SCP-715-B7, was emitting low-level radiation that was somehow directed at Site 81715, the location of the pit. During an autopsy of the creature, it was found that the radioactive emissions were actually increasing in output okay. and frequency. And soon what after, does it do? a power outage and containment breach occurred at the site Are they all go come outside? where the autopsy took place. Following these events, the body of SCP-715-B7 disappeared, and video surveillance confirmed that several members of Foundation staff were responsible, all of whom wow. had been involved in SCP-715 research. Okay. The staff members escaped with the body and left no other evidence behind, save for a single photo with the ominous text, My ears that I may hear, 
my eyes that I may see, my mouth that I may speak. Do not touch my face. Do not touch my face. Okay. No other information regarding SCP-715 has been found, and many questions remain. Just what are instances of 715B, and what do they want? Are they some kind of hive mind colony that reproduces through the use of a mysterious Yo, photo this booth? is a good one. What happens to those left behind in the pit? And what will they do should they ever get out? Investigations Man, that the little are ongoing. Get me. Now go and watch another was, entry from the files of Dr. Bob. Good. And make sure you subscribe and turn on yeah, notifications yeah. so you don't... That was, that was a good one. That, I'm sorry, that was a good one. That twist in the end. What yo? That was a good one. Ah, uh, you guys already know though. You guys already know. I have to conclude my video too. Uh guys, hit the subscribe button. Go to five thousand subscribers. We are almost to two thousand. You go hit the like button too. Supposed to be more turn the notification on the early game, which means we in the comment section first. We'll bring in the comment section. You can tell me against play. That's not to be a goal this game. You can tell me if it's react to please link the video in the comment section to be easy point five. Or could be like how how you doing? We'll always Always try to pop back to you guys. And yeah, that's pretty much it. It's your boy, Flame. Ah!